Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy. Guys, I'm recording this video at the halftime of Manchester United and Tottenham. Unfortunately, Spurs are losing, which is not always what I want to see. Um, guys, but I have Foot Champions Rewards for you guys today. Um, it is that time of the day. It is that time of the week. Um, hopefully, you guys are looking forward to it. We had an amazing finish last weekend. Amazing, amazing finish. We were 27-0. and um, We finished 28-2. Unfortunately, I played 24 games on Sunday. Which is not always the easiest. Um, we got sniped against the 26-0 player. We won the next game after that to go 28-1. And, and then our last game we played a guy who was 25-1. and one. So I looked into it and I said, hey, what are these guys finishing? And the two guys at the end that we played finished 30-0 and 29-1. So is what it is. Very, very tough matchmaking. Um, looking to get a good red, guys. I have not really had a great red. Sterling has been my best red during team of the season, which is an okay red. But it's not like a total, total end game player. This uh, this weekend, guys, I put up my tactics on my channel earlier this week. But this is the team that I rocked with. I used a lot of different players. Um, I used Conte. I used Messi. I used Lala. I used Ferdinand. I used Vendersar. And everybody in this team is so damn good. Um, they really are. Everybody in this team, for me, does a job, puts in a shift, and does what I need. I, I have no complaints about my team right now. I really, really, really like my team. Um, and then if you guys are wondering how they line up, it's the 4-1-2-2 two, two narrow. Um, pressure on heavy touch with Messi at Cam, Mbappe, Neymar, Striker, KDB, Hullet, Conte in the midfield, Militao, Fernand, Lala, Tellez, and Van der Sar at the back. Um, some of the goal to game ratios are getting a little crazy, um, but I wanted to say that Messi's was like 30, 30 games, 20 goals, 15 assists. I played a lot of rivals last night. I don't know why. Um, I played a lot of rivals. I was chilling in a call with a friend and just grinding out rivals, man. was just playing some rivals, was using my team, and was playing pretty well, but... It was getting a little too sweaty for my liking. So, yeah, man. We have the Foot Champions Awards for you guys today. That's what's on the agenda. We are literally just today after getting a good red. Um, I, that's all I want. Um, for division rivals, we have two ultimate packs, um, which we will go ahead and we will take with the two mega packs, um, which is not too bad. That's going to be the rank one div division one rewards. So, we'll do a little bit of a different style this week. We'll go ahead and claim those ones first. Um, we did get the rank one. We got. I probably finished on 23, 24,000 rank points. I was on like 17. I also got Kimpembe done overnight, which is very good because Kimpembe is a very good card. If you guys haven't uh, haven't done him yet, you should because he's very good. I reviewed him on my second channel, but I did really enjoy him as well. Um, I thought he was very, very, very good. Um, the Mega Packs are never too great. So, we do have a lot of special cards still in packs. So I would like to see one walkout out of my ultimate packs. Just one. Um, Sergio Roberto is not a bad one. It's July. So I don't really care that much about Sergio Roberto. But here we go. These are the two ultimate packs, boys. These are what we're looking to get something good out of. Hopefully we can. It is a walkout, which is good. I'm going to have a coffee sip. Hmm. Is that going to be Aguero? That's Aguero. Let's go, man. No, not let's go. I packed him yesterday. I literally packed him in an 81 plus yesterday. Don't dab, don't dab, don't dab, don't dab, don't dab. I just packed this guy's in 81 plus yesterday. I don't know if I have him in my club. I don't know if I put him in an SBC in time. I did, man. Oh my god, thank god. Well, that's a pretty good player to pack. He's about 100 and let's see, 115k? 120? Not bad, not bad player. Some 84s in there as well. Um, yeah, that's not a bad player to pack. I'm alright with that. As long as I don't have anything duplicate, that's like. For me, where it crosses the line, the second I have something duplicate, I'm always like, no! And back-to-back -back walkouts, that's all I can ask for. That's pretty, 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 pretty good. As long as this is not Korea, it's not. Spanish, right wing, is that Pedro? So Pedro's going to be an 86, I think. Yeah, 86 Pedro. Not really usable, um, but we do get an 86 rated. I, don't, I think there could be other walkouts in this pack. Not really too sure. Oh my god. What the hell is that pack? That's a crazy pack, man. Huntelar, Navi Keita, Pedro, a man of the match, a team of the season. That's such a crazy pack. <laughs> Five special cards in one pack. That's so crazy. That reminds me directly of Festival Football last year. Um, that's a crazy, crazy pack. All right, guys. Now for the red selection. Now, the reds we have are just not good. I, I got to be honest with you guys. They're not good. So... I'm just hoping every week that I play, I have another chance at getting something better. It seems like every week I seem to hit kind of like an Emre Chan and then like two goalkeepers. 
This week is going to be Elite One, guys. This is my sixth time this year, fifth time this year finishing Elite One. I think this is my fourth weekend finishing on 28 wins, which is absolutely amazing. Um, no, it's my fifth. It's actually my fifth weekend on 28, so it's probably seventh Elite One because I've gotten two 27s this year. And then we're still looking for that second top 100 finish. We have that 30 no finish this year, and that's it. Um, so we're looking for that second top 100 finish. For the Elite One rank, guys, we're going to get three choices of five um, players. We're going to get two, three, two team of the season, three player packs, two 100k packs, 125,000 coins. We don't care about the coins, the 100k packs, or the blue packs at this point in the year. We just care about the Reds, boys. That's all we care about. We're only going to be playing so many more weekend leagues. We'll probably play two or three more weekend leagues. That's it. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully EA wants to, uh, you know, compensate your boy a little bit. Give your boy some better reds. That That is uh, that is what we are hoping for. So, player pick number one. I will grab my coffee while I look at my player picks. So, player pick number one is Donnarumma, Trap, or Draw Felix. So, it's pretty bad. It's not, it's not the best. I mean, in terms of rating, it's okay, but I don't care about rating. Um, I'm going to take Laporte because I feel like Laporte could be used in a fun squad. Um, and I don't want to see Donnarumma or Trap on my screen ever again. Um, so I feel like Laporte could be a fun, you know, a fun addition to a squad. Let's see number two. <laughs> oh my god, man. Okay, we'll take uh, Barati. We will take Barati. And on our third player pick, we will take... Schultz. We will take Schultz in our third player pick. We will take Schultz in our third player pick. We go to the store now, and we have two Team of the Season 3 player packs, and then we've got two 100k jumbo packs. The first one is not a walkout, which is never what you like to see, ever. No exceptions. You never like to see that. Iker Casillas. Iker Casillas in that pack. Langlets, a bunch of 82s. Nothing that crazy. We'll send the 83s up to the transfer list. We only actually have... Actually, I'm going to have to be careful with my transfer list because I don't have that much space. Second 100k pack. It's a walkout. Thank you so much, EA. It's a team of the season flare, which is very interesting. Mexico, center mid. I don't even know who this is going to be. Guzman. I've never heard of this guy. 87 rated Guzman. I've never even... I didn't even know he existed in this game. <laughs> um, and, a Marine, and a Miranda so that's not terrible out of that it's not too bad not too bad I'm not I'm not really against that with Miranda in there as well that's not awful and then now we've got two team of the season three player packs some of you guys may care about these packs I personally don't care about these packs because I'm uh, I have a lot of coins I don't really care but I guess it's cool for a flare so we'll open the first one We'll see who we go and pack. Walk out. It is going to be a team of the season flare. Brazil, goalkeeper. It's going to be Allison. So Allison's a 95 rated um, goalkeeper. Okay, that's not too bad. So 95 rated leaves the possibility to pack a lot of other players in this pack, which is always a good thing. I'm never against that. So with the 95 rated, there's a chance that we probably could get like another 94. I'm hoping it's not like a double 87 in this pack. Because a lot of the time when I get these high rated players in the face card, it turns out to be like a double 87. And I'm like, bruh, what is that? So 95 rated. We'll see who else is in the pack. Let's see who else. Okay, so that's not a terrible pack. So you have Allison, who's about 200,000 coins. You have uh, Jinye, who's about 150k. And you have Bamba, who's about 100k. So that pack is about 400,000 coins on the market, which is actually not terrible. And to pack a 95, the 93, and a 90, it's not bad at all. Um, I'm not against that. We have one more of these two Season 3 player packs. If you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Um, I guess the quest goes on for the red look. I don't know what I have to do, but I, I guess we got to finish top 100 to get good reds this year. Or goal 2, we got to make a decision. So next team of Season 3 player pack, it's going to be... What is it going to be, boys? It is going to be a Brazilian. It is going to be a goalkeeper. It is going to be Allison. How creative, EA. <laughs> oh, my God. Another goalkeeper. Um, 95 rated Allison. We don't really need to talk about him. We just packed him um, like about less than 30 seconds ago. So we got Allison here as well. 95 rated. 
this could still, I mean, there could still be something good. We could still pull a Havertz or something, in, or I think a Sun, Sun 95. We could still pull something pretty damn good, uh, you know, behind this pack. We'll see if that's possible for us. I don't really know what's going to be in here. So, Allison again. And then we get Halstenberg, uh, who sells for 100k. And then Korea, who's about 150. So, we make from this pack about 450. So, overall, we make about 850,000 coins from our Lee 1 rewards this week. We do not need the coins. Um, but we do make about 850,000 coins. And my struggle for reds continues, guys. I do not have really a starting red that I can use in my club. I've got Sterling, who's more of a super sub. Um, and then aside from that, I do not have anybody. I have Koulibaly from last week, Di Maria, um, Arnold. So nobody that's really an endgame red for me, man. I'm still really chasing that red. I'm still looking for it. Um, I don't know where it is. Going to try my best, guys, to keep playing Weekend League for you guys, to bring you guys rewards every single week. To try to try to get that get that red. I think my most usable red is Allen or Sterling. So I'm really looking for a player that, you know, a really good player, man. I want to put a, I really want to put a Teles or a Militao into my team, red or obviously a Neymar, obviously and I'm uh, not an Mbappe, but a Lala or just a fullback, man. I don't even, you know, I don't really have that player yet. So I'm really still looking for that kind of player. Um, and yeah, I'm just hoping he is. I don't know what to do, man, because. I don't know what to do, boys, because I don't know how to get that good red. And sometimes when I'm doing my stream reds, I always pack gold two guys really good red. So I don't know. Maybe I'm playing like too much weekend league. I have no idea. It's crazy though. My red luck has been so bad this year. But at the end of the day, I'm probably not going to complain because I do have a team of the year Mbappe and tradable, which is a absolutely fantastic card. And I love this card to death. So thank you EA for that. Um, guys, thanks for watching the videos today and, and every day on the channel and all that. It's July. I know the, the support is crazy for July. So just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys because you guys make that happen. You guys make all this stuff possible. Um, so thank you guys, man. Happy Rewards Day. Let me know in the comments what you guys got. Hopefully your rewards were much better than mine. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.